Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to create a simple mega menu. I've got a mega menu up here and we can roll down it, select our links. We've got various different titles at the top here and when we get off of it it's going to disappear again and it's totally responsive. Really easy to do. There's no coding involved in this today, or there's one CSS class name, and if you want to customize it, we can do a bit of coding. But apart from that, it's really, really simple. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the basic Divi default menu up here. And let's go down to the dashboard. I've actually got my menus open here. For anybody that doesn't know how to get there, go down to your dashboard, go down to appearance, and underneath that, you'll find menus. And that's where we are right now. I'm going to create a new menu by hitting the little create new menu up here. Now we'll give it a name. Let's call it my mega. We'll hit the little create menu button on the right hand side. Okay, and what I'll do, I'll use the one that I did before, but I'm going to show you the structure, how to actually build yours from scratch, because there's a lot of repetition, no point you seeing that. So what I'm going to do is add a custom link first. Close up the pages at the top. We've got posts and custom links over here. Put a little hashtag placeholder in there, else it'll flag you if you don't when you try and add it to your menu. And call this link whatever you want. Mega menu, features, whatever it is you want to say. This is the bit that's going to actually appear up here, the mega menu bit. So call it whatever is going to be appropriate for your site. And when you're happy, we'll add it to the menu. Great, well that's our keystone one, the one that's gonna be at the top there. So we need to now start creating a one with a title and the links below it. So again, I'm gonna use a custom link for that. Again, I'm gonna put a hashtag in there and let's make this one information or something. I'm actually gonna capitalize mine so it stands out for our link. We could do that with some CSS later, but I'll just do it here. So let's call this one information and we'll add it to the menu. And we're gonna make it a sub item of the mega menu above. So I've just dragged it to the right and let it go. And as you can see, it's staying there and it's got sub item written after it. Great, well, we can start adding our links now. So let's go to the pages or posts or whatever it is you wanna have in your mega menu. And we'll select a few of these. I'm just gonna select four of them. And I'm going to pull all of these over to the right so they're a sub of the sub item that we've got there. Great. So we've got those in place now. Now what I'd do to finish doing this, I'd add another one of these custom links and have another four for a different column and a different column again. I'm going to load my original menu just to save time in a minute. But to make this all work, we need to add a CSS class to this top one, just the one on the top. So if we go in there, I've got CSS classes down here. If you don't see CSS classes down there, you've not got it selected at the top of the page. So roll up to the top of your page. There's some screen options up here on the top right. Go in there, make sure you've got CSS classes checked and this little box will appear down the bottom. And to make this into a mega menu, because if I was to save it now, it would just be a regular menu with drop downs. To make this into a mega menu, we need to add the CSS class of mega dash menu. Now let's save our changes. Okay, for expediency, I'm just gonna load my other menu. So let's select this menu. And here it is. There's my sort of keystone at the top that we're gonna see up here when I save. And as you can see, I've got four more lots of sub items capitalized with the actual links underneath. So we'll have four columns. Once you're happy with everything in your menu, if we roll down to the bottom, we can set it as our primary menu right here. I'm going to check that and save the menu. And it tells us the menu has been updated. Well, let's go back to our page here and we'll refresh. And as you can see, it's changed from that regular menu to my little drop down here. 
Now, I've, you might ask why mine's colored and why I've got links happening. Yours won't have this hover effect. So let me just take a bit away a bit of CSS and I'll show you how to color these things up and customize them to your heart's content. Yours will probably be white and just with dark links the same as your other menu was. So if I go back down to my menus and go to the customizer now, let's go to customize. And I'll remove that hover effect and I'll show you how to do that in a second. That's in the additional CSS and this is completely optional. Let's just delete that and I'll publish it. And the actual customization for the color of the menu, why mine's got a blue background and an orange line and white text up there. If we go up to our header and navigation here, it's our primary menu bar. And the mega menu is actually the drop down. So if we roll down, we've got the drop down menu background color. For instance, I can change it to black or something like that. And it's changed the color for us. I'm going to change that back to blue. And there's the drop down menu line color, which is the orange part at the top there. If I hold it over there, the little orange line. Just click on the drop down menu line color here and you can change that to whatever color you want. Now the little purple, the little black overlay, that's not going to be there on yours. Like I say, that's because I wrote that bit of code. Now that I've published it without it, if we go back to our main one and refresh here, we've lost that little effect. And this is the default effect that you'll have on there. Now, if you want to put that little hover effect on there, it's really easy. A little bit of code, and I'll put it down below the video. Anybody wants to copy and paste it, just click on your little link any one of them will do i'm going to hit the inspect i'm using google chrome here with the great inspector tools most browsers have this nowadays but if yours doesn't google chrome is a free download okay and on the right hand side here i've got my css i'm going to make sure that hovers selected and also focus i think and if we look down here Here we have it, ET mobile menu, list item hover, and nav, unordered list, list item A hover. So that's the background cover. That's the default background color right there. And it's only got a 0.7 opacity. So that's making it when we roll over it, it fades out just a little bit. I want mine at full opacity, which is one. Opacity goes from zero, 0 0.123, etc., up to one, which is so there's no change from when you hover over it, which is great. And the background color, <laughs> I'm just going to make it black. You can make it any color that you want to make yours. Remember, this is just for the hover state. Now it's going to do that. And the reason that one's highlighted is because we're on it at the moment. And if you wanted to add a border bottom or whatever you want, you can go to town with it. I'm just going to do a couple of things. Let's say border bottom. Let's say one pixel solid and let's make it light gray. And if we go up here now, we've got a little one pixel light gray border on the bottom too. Like I say, you can just add more CSS if you want to. Now to make this permanent at the moment, if I refresh this page, that's going to disappear there. To make it permanent, simply select it all from the closing curly bracket at the bottom there to the first dot of the ET mobile control C to copy we'll go back to our customizer and let's go back to the prime let's go back down to our additional CSS always a good idea to give CSS a title makes it much easier to find so you can do forward slash star star forward slash in the middle you can write notes or titles anything between the stars won't be read as code so let's say mega menu hover and just down below we can paste that bit of code and publish it once published let's go back to our page here let's refresh this page and now we take a look we've got our little mega menu there we've got our purple line at the top blue background white writing and when we hover over the active links they've got that little 
dark background and a bottom border on there like I say you can make yours however you want to but that's a great little feature and it works perfectly on mobile what it does it shrinks down to a regular menu on mobile I can demonstrate that with Google Chrome again if I hit F12 to bring up my responsive little toggle down the bottom here here it is on the phone if I click on it as you can see it just drops down to a regular menu and you can scroll down select what you want there let's have a look on an iPad it'll probably do exactly the same thing iPad Air I think that's a regular one yeah it does exactly the same thing there and then of course back on regular desktop we've got our nice little mega menu there like I say this is a very simple example but it's a very easy way of doing things you don't have to do the CSS coding if you don't want the hover effect or anything like that but that's a great little feature to have on your site especially if you've got a complex and very detailed menu so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and web design and tech tips .com. don't forget if you have any questions pop them below the video and I'll do my best to answer them or make a demo video for you Thanks for watching, have a great day.